Like maybe you're going from a dirt floor to a concrete floor. Then maybe you put some uh, dirt up on the, on the concrete, kind of reduce the contrast between the two different kinds of floor. Or the leader will stop, put his head down at the shadow. Give that leader a chance to just stop for a second, put the head down, and because if he walks over the shadow, then the other cattle are going to follow. But if you just force them, you know, they're, they're going to turn back on you. And, and uh, that's not going to be good. Here's a bad situation. We're headed straight into the sun. You can get time of day effects when you're working livestock. You know, if the sun's coming up over the top of the truck, uh, they're not going to want to go in. They're going to get blinded. You all know what it's like going down the highway, blinded by the sun. Maybe just change the time of day that you handle them. What I want to try to get you to be is more aware of what the animals are seeing around them. What is the animal doing? An animal that sees something it doesn't like, like maybe a chain hanging down, he'll point his eyes and ears right at it like this, and he'll just watch it go back and forth. I want to get you to be a whole lot more observant. Look at the reflections that you've got on the floor. Then at another time of day, you don't have that reflection. Okay, there's been a lot of discussion now about whether or not you put solid sides on facilities. If you're in places like meat plants where there's a lot of activity and commotion, I want to cover everything up because otherwise they're going to see vehicles going by, they're going to see people. You can see people there. I've either got to get those people out of the way or I've got to cover it up. I've got to do one or the other. You've got shadows there. Sunny days, you'll often have a lot more shadows. You may have blocking on sunny days that you don't have on, on some of the other days. Uh, what I have found on the solid side thing is perimeters. That's what you need to be covering, especially along the highway. You've got a loading ramp along the highway, and they see the cars going by. That's going to cause an interference. Uh, you know, so there's some places you might need a solid side, other places that you don't. Crowd gates that you close behind cattle. Those need to be solid so they don't turn back and cram the gate back in your face. Okay, on a sunny day, you're going to get shadows. You're going to get bright spots. I want you watching constantly for these different things in lighting because I have found in the big meat plants, I could fix most of the big meat plants by doing very simple changes in lighting, adding a light on a dark chute, moving a light to get a rid of a reflection, put up a piece of cardboard so they didn't see people up ahead. This is what I call the black hole. You've got a real, real sunny day, and inside the building, it's dark. And it's going to be very, very difficult to get the cattle in there. Now, one of the things I can do is take some of the siding off the building to let in more sunlight. You know, at night, I can put an electric light inside the building to get the cattle in, because animals tend to go towards the light, but they're not going to go into blinding light. So at night, I can light it up with a light. That's going to work. But that's not going to work in the daytime, because the sun is 100 times brighter than, the, uh, you know, than any uh, light I could go out and buy. So here's a, also one good thing we've got right here is a crowd gate solid. That's one gate you need to have solid. Otherwise, you can get that gate smashed back in your face. Okay, this particular place, they took some of the tin off the side of the building and replaced it with white translucent plastic. I like white translucent skylights. I want to get lots of nice shadow free light in. Now, down here, it's so hot, I don't think you're going to have sides on a building. You know, you're just going to have a shade. But I have just been amazed at how much lighting problems can cause a problem. And I change something with lighting, then everything just starts working. Okay, how about curved shoots? There's been some controversy about that. I've been designing all of my systems curved. Now, there's some basic principles in how animals move. Cattle always want to go back to where they came from. Well, if I lay out a, a curved chute, they tend to be going back to where they came from. Also, another thing a curved chute does is as the animal, hopefully, uh, I don't know where the uh, pointer, maybe this doesn't have a pointer. I don't think I want to push uh, exit and quit. But as the um, animal is coming in from the crowd pen, he doesn't see, where is the pointer? Oh, okay. He doesn't see the people standing, standing around the crowd pen. Animals tend to not want to approach the people that are standing around the squeeze chute. So one of the advantages 
that I can have with um, the curved chute is they don't see us standing around the squeeze chute as they start to enter the crowd pen. But we're going to have to lay things out. Now, as I said about solid sides, if you've got distractions around, that outer radius is the most important part of the, cover, of the facility to cover. And the inner radius, a lot of people like, like to make the inner radius at least partially open. You're going to want to have it solid on the bottom part because I don't want any feet coming out. Then you can work the cattle from the ground, work the flight zone. But what I've been seeing as I travel around is there's places where if I don't get some of these outer parts of these things covered up, they're just not going to work. Now, I can't emphasize enough the importance of laying things out right. Because if you lay them out wrong, they're not going to work. Now, on Wednesday, there's going to be a talk on the design of a bud box facility, which is a very, very simple facility that's not curved. But on both my curved facilities and the bud box facility, if you lay them out wrong, they just simply are not going to work.